if you're somebody who is going to have a surgery for a stage four cancer, you should be at a place that has a multidisciplinary conference where we really dive into the nitty gritty about you specifically and look at your PET scan and see what targeted therapies you've had before and make sure that you have actionable disease because it doesn't make sense to do a surgery if we're going to leave stuff in every quadrant of your body, right? But if we feel like hey, there is this one focal thing, or sometimes there are two focal things. You know, somebody has a single brain lesion that's able to be removed or treated with radiation, and then somebody has an area in the lung that lights up. You know, we tend to feel that you should get some systemic therapy if you are metastatic, that probably should be upfront. And if you demonstrate stability and still active disease and you are medically fit, then surgery is an option for you. And again, I, I would say that we should make sure that the surgery is small enough or tolerable enough that it won't hugely compromise your lung function or your quality of life. So I think that we as the surgeons are still thinking about quality of life. We still think about it in this semi-palliative way, but we also think about it in this very therapeutic, you know, treat you, take it out mm -hmm. sort of way. Like I wanna see a PET scan where nothing lights up in you. We know that there are microscopic bad actors hanging out in there, but if we can't see them on a PET scan for a couple of years, like what does that mean to you? That's awesome. We hope you liked this video. To support cancer research and get clear expert answers about cancer, follow us and visit crackingcancer.org to join the Cracking Cancer community.